Hello everyone, this is Frank DeMora, and the author of the book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, and the head of the End Times Research Ministry. Yesterday I posted something that I want to return back to, to show you exactly what happened. Thus, this is from my September the 7th, 2017 post. And I'm going to scroll down and show you where it is that I posted yesterday, and of course... This massive hurricane is headed directly now towards Florida. They know that. And the evacuation in Florida is continuing. So not only that, but yesterday I also gave you that there was three major hurricanes that have followed Harvey. And this is a precedent that has been set in recent years. And another sign of the last days. There's a better picture of it right here of those three that are churning now in the Atlantic and, of course, Irma ready to hit Florida. But yesterday I gave you some information about the signs of the sun, the moon, and the stars. I'm just going to center in on what the Lord said about the sun because he did clarify to us that there would be signs coming from the sun as well. Now, in a passage yesterday that I posted... Uh, Brett Kramer, who is a friend of mine, a pastor friend of mine, gave me some information about the solar flares that are caused by the sun. This was a huge solar flare. And part of what he said in here is he says, An example, when Fukushima earthquake happened, we had recently been hit with an X1.4 solar flare. And yesterday there was a X10 solar flare and of course what happened right after this solar flare as that they were saying there's a possibility that there's going to be a huge earthquake associated with the solar flare that was coming well that's exactly what happened take a look at this article that came out today september the 8th of 2017 at least Two dead as magnitude 8.4 quake rocks Mexico. This is a huge earthquake that also is associated now, I believe, with it, a tsunami. So, in retrospect, we're, we're seeing many signs coming together, and they're the exact signs that Jesus told us to look for. I've said this a million times before. You can either receive what the Lord is showing you, or you can reject it. But sooner or later, if you reject it, you're going to have to face Jesus. And if you don't know him as your personal Savior, that'll be the worst day of your life, eternal life.